You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from Terrence E. Williams. And in the Hello? Yo, yo, what's up, gangster? Well, what's happening? Yeah, now you ain't want me in the building, man. Nah, you know I always want you in the building, man. What's going on? Oh, this is your world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> man, tell us about this book, man. Oh, it's just based on my life story, how I come up in the hood, how I made a lot of decisions that now I'm paying for, that I wish that the youngsters that's listening to these rappers out here now don't take that path. And just showing, you know, the, the, the griminess of New Orleans and at the same time, how a lot of people say they're gangsters, but they got feelings too. It, it sounds like you're talking about a particular person, though. Well, you know, it is. I mean, do it, do, who you who you feel I'm shooting at? The, you know, me saying I'm talking about a particular person. Huh? I, I mean, I mean, there's only a few niggas in New Orleans that I know about. And who that is? <laughs> I mean, I know it ain't Baby in them, so it gotta be BG. I mean, Christopher, I don't feel like he should be called BG. You know, uh, him and the, the, the cat Elton that's running around the city slandering my name. And I made him, I don't know why you think I'll play him, Elton, the one they call him Hot Beaver. But at the end of the day, uh, BG screaming here, OG, and you got guys that then died, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, you know, real OGs. You know, I ain't much an OG, and I'd have been in the game longer than him and got more street cred than him, you know, because he's a rap, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I really want to say that for the DVD we got coming out called OGs and real gangsters from New Orleans. Them exposed a lot of clowns. <laughs> so, 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 what's BG real name? Christopher. <laughs> I don't call him BG. You, you can't. You know, you have to earn something like that. You know. Yeah. Some, 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 a lot of those youngsters. A lot of those rappers. I'm gonna say one percent of them that talk that gangster talk really live that. Because if you think about it, if they all that drugs and all the killing they talk about in these songs, they really live that they'd be in the feds with me or on the state. On that road somewhere. Yeah. All the kind of drugs they talk about. Yeah. You know. So that's what B. That's basically what BG doing. Yeah, you know what? Really, he he rap about my life. Uh, a <laughs> guy from downtown. He ran. He really, you know, he rap about a lot of guys that he didn't been around life. You know. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I be like, you know, you you you, you choose sides. You run with this dude. You look up to this dude. And once you hear one thing, you don't have no proof on it. You take that and run with it. And, you you know, it's like you condoning certain things that you don't know what's true. And that could get you hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I mean, tell people, though, because you, you the original hot boy, right? Of course. Me, Sterling, doing it, Mosquito, they did now. And yeah. we started that. So y'all basically gave Baby and them the name. Right. We let them, you know, that's when he had, that's when he had uh, Christopher, Juvie, <laughs> Lil Wayne, and Turk. And he was like, man, come up with a, you know, help me come up with a name for my group. So I was like, you know, we brainstorm. We brought, I was like, man, name the hot boy. He was like, what's the concept? I was like, you know, they, they busting heads, they dressing nice, they wearing jewelry, they coming through in the fly cars. You know, they hot, the police looking for them, the girls looking for them, dudes looking to kill them. Yeah. So he took that and ran with it. And I never thought in a million years it would have blew up as big as it did. So you basically gave, um, you basically gave them the thing about be, um, bling bling. No, not, I, I can't just take that credit because, you know, down there is so many guys. This is what I love about New Orleans. You can't just point out one person and say, okay, he's the most feared person in the city because there's killers all over the city. You know, and there's guys all over the city that have been rocking jewelry, been doing their thing way before my time. You know, so Wayne actually came up with it on BG, on, on Christopher, my bad, pardon me, on Christopher Al. <laughs> So, so, so what? So, 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 what's your relationship like with you and Baby? Oh, it's a hundred. I mean, Stunner and Slim been there for me since day one. Since I've been incarcerated, they've been the only ones that's really been holding me down. Besides my mother, and my grandfather, and my children, mother, they come through from time to time for me. But Stunner been holding to about a thousand with me. He been holding it down for me. Yeah, so you probably eating better in there than I am out here. I mean, well, you know, the fans feed us three times a day anyway, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, Birdman. Birdman say you fly in any weather, so it is what it is, you know. I'm blessed, you know. Yeah. I can't complain. How you yeah. how you feel about the snitching that's going on out here, though? You know, at the end of the day, a lot of guys want to play the game, but when the people come at that time, they want to point the finger at this one and that one, and that's not cool because you want to bleed the block, you want to run the streets, you want to have your chest out. 
And then when, when, when them other bad boys grab you, now you want to tell everybody and their grandma, you know, that ain't cool. You know, then, then you got to keep in mind that you, you know you putting, bringing your family in harm's way. You know, I mean, there's a lot of guys that talk that talk but can't walk the walk. You know, so my advice to them is to leave the game alone and fall back. Go get your job at McDonald's. It's cool, you know. <laughs> a, lot, a, a lot of guys in, a lot of guys in prison flip hamburgers on Wednesdays, hamburgers and fries. Uh, every morning we got trash calls, so it's cool to go get your go sway up, man, because you got your freedom at the end of the day. Yeah. So you 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 know any snitches you want to put out here? Well, not not right now because at the end of the day, I like to have the, the, the paperwork, you know, and and really be able to show my proof. I don't like to do like a lot of guys uh, go off hearsay, you know. So, uh, you know, once me and you get together again and we come out with the part two, you know, we'll have all that iron out. Well, we we'll be able to, you know, get concrete. I, I, there's a lot of gangsters, uh, similar gangsters or, or replica gangsters from New Orleans <laughs> that I'm gonna blast, that I plan to blast too. You know, a lot of around here faking it, trying to gain fame. You know, on my name. So there's a lot of them I got to straight too. You know. But at the end of the day, you know, we just need to break the ice now, you know, because, you know, you my family, so we got a, a long relationship ahead of us to take care of a lot of these wannabes, you know, and put them <laughs> in a proper place. <laughs> so do you feel like that's the reason why, you know, BG and your brother might have fell out? Honestly, Christopher was young when he got with the people, <laughs> and at the same time, he, he didn't really, you know, it's like... I really look at him like a seasoned gangster. You know, every, anybody hot at the time, that's who he run with. You know, so I, I can't really, you know, say what their problem was because they'll say one thing, they keep it, you know, they, one, thing I do, one thing I do like what they did, they covered up their situation. You mm -hmm. know, so I do like that. So but at you, the end of the day... So, huh? you, so you basically saying they did a good job? Is you just saying BG or you saying like um, juvenile too? I mean, they hold the they hold the camp, they hold the situation. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day, they all come up together, grinding together. So, you know, once you, you know, it remind me like how when we was young, you know, like when you be selling dope when you young and you got a bunch of guys, you collect all the money, you be like, okay, look, let's go shopping. Yeah. So now if you're gonna uh, take this, you gonna take this kind of situation. At the end of the day, once you go to getting older and you realize, man, I want some more money, and people start getting in your ear, then you want to scream. I mean, that's on you from the start. But at the end of the day, a lot of them was young, so, you know, they, they went to court, you know, which, you know, Stunner got a problem thinking Stunner like they put the people on it. You know, y'all talk the gangsters talk, y'all should have handled that out of court. So you saying they put the police on Stunner? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they went to court on them, so, you know, they, their paperwork on, it, 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 it's in the law library, so, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, that's what it is, you know. Yeah. I guess that's how they say, you know, it's, you know how they say, uh, you know how people say, Maybe let the law deal with it. I guess they were like, we're going to let the law deal with it, you know. They brought it to court. Yeah. Straighten it out, you know. But, and, uh, I mean, I, I think, you know, like, when you look at it, sometimes even the mob did that before. They was cold killer, but sometimes they brought certain things to court too, you know. But I just look at it like, you know, they're supposed to step to him first. Like, hey, man, look, this was missing. This is what I want, you know. And then from there, if he try to chomp you off, then you handle that, you know, however you're going to handle it. But, you know, it's just like a lot of stuff that I've been laying back over the year, watching go on, you know. A lot of guys scream, they got to love you, this and that, but they ain't reaching out showing no love. They ain't helping you pay for no love. They ain't reaching out to your family. You know, my mother, my children, but they want to scream and they go in these hoods and come out, man, gangsta cool, just to get your, your ghetto pass, you know, uh, stamp and what have you. You know, at the end of the day, you ain't reaching back, man. Beat it. You yeah. know, that was up. So you and, I know you and Lil Wayne got a good relationship. That's my little nephew. I love him. You know, I, I love him. He really doing his thing. Yeah, we got a uh, very well, you know, relationship is very well ironed out yeah he listen you know i talk to him from time to time you know he getting himself together yeah because he locked up now that's crazy yeah we to be home next week so we're on the 4th the same day of my birthday november 4th <laughs> when you when you gonna drop that book when you planning to drop it you know what, I had plans for December, but at the end of the day, uh, I got so many people now, uh, Freeway Rick out of Cali want it, Stunner want it, uh, my, my people, Tracy Taylor, you know, she want to put out herself, so many people that's like, I want it, I want it, I want it, so, you know, I, I, me and my mother been talking, so we trying to, you know, decide what would be the uh, best avenue to take, you know, to put the book out. And, and what is your book basically about? My life story. Growing up in New Orleans, you know, the the, 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 the the cutthroatness of the city, you know, what I've been through, what I've seen, you know, not that I, not what I heard, 
Uh, you know, I'm not a, you know, the hot boy, you know, we we, we didn't bust rap, we bust caps. So, you know, I'm just showing a lot of people like, okay, this is what I did, this is what I've been through. I've been shot several times, colostomy bag, stabbed, you know, almost died. You know, I've been through a lot of stuff, and at the end of the day, now I have a life sentence, you know. So now if you want to choose that life, this is what comes with that life, being in prison for life. Yeah, so what you got now, you got?